Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to play YouTube videos in our car's entertainment unit using Android Auto while driving. As you can see, a YouTube video from my own channel is being played on my Kia Sonnet's touchscreen while I'm parking my car. Please note, watching YouTube videos while driving or any video for that matter is not advisable. This video is for knowledge sharing purpose only. Having said that, let's get started. All you need is an Android phone and a USB cable to connect the phone to the car. I will be using my OnePlus phone to show you the steps involved. I'm going to start the screen recorder so that you can see the phone screen clearly. Step 1. We need to download and install the app called AA Store from this link. You can find the link in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and open this link and click on the download button. As you can see, I already have the app APK in my phone. I'm downloading it again in order to show you that it actually works. The download speed will depend upon your phone's network connectivity, obviously. Let's speed up this process since my phone's network is quite poor today. After the download completes, click on the downloaded file and click on install to install the app. Let's open up the app. Step 2. Now we need to download the app AA Mirror Plus. Scroll down, click on AA Mirror Plus and then click on install. The phone will automatically bring us to the next step and prompt you to allow the app to download and install unknown apps. If it doesn't show a prompt, then all you have to do is to open phone settings, then app settings, then select the app AA Store and finally enable the option install unknown apps. Once that is done, you can click on install button to install the AA Mirror Plus app. The installation is quick and easy. As for the final step, we need to open phone settings, then app settings, then select the app AA Mirror Plus and enable all the available permissions. Here we can see two denied permissions that we need to allow one by one. Let's go ahead and do that. As for the app AA Store, there are no permissions to be enabled. If, however, you do see any denied permissions for the app AA Store, then please go ahead and allow those as well. Alright, let's keep this phone aside for now and connect it to the car's USB port using a USB cable. Make sure both the ends of the cable are securely connected. After you see the cable connected prompt on your phone screen, go ahead and click on Android Auto on the car's touchscreen. Go to Menu and click on AA Mirror Plus. You will see a prompt on your phone to start mirroring your phone on the car's screen. Click on the Start Now button and done. You might see an option to allow the app AA Mirror Plus to modify system settings such as over here. Enable that option for seamless experience. Now you can watch any YouTube video on your car's touchscreen played and controlled directly from your phone. Let me open up the YouTube app and show you. Keeping in mind YouTube's copyright restriction policy, I will play one of my own videos. I'll open up my channel now. As you can see, my YouTube channel is now being viewed on the car's touchscreen. Let me go ahead and play a video that I had recently uploaded. Hey, it's working. Nice. Wait, what's wrong with the GPS? Isn't it supposed to show the coordinates? If you are looking for a good dash cam for your car, then you might want to check out this video. I had recently purchased a front and rear dash cam combo for my Kia Sonnet and it's absolutely worth every penny. You'll be able to find the link to this dash cam video on the top right corner of your screen now. As you can see, the video quality is great and there is no lag or distortion while playing videos. You will notice that I'm not able to pause the video from the car's touchscreen. It can only be controlled from the connected phone, like this. Ok now let's try some other app. Let's open up Instagram. If you are on Instagram as well, then let's get connected. My Instagram handle is underscore HarryWT. It is being displayed on the banner below along with all the other social media platforms I use. We can see my profile page over here. As you can see, Instagram works like a charm as well. Ok now let's try playing a game. How about playing Free Fire on the car's touchscreen? Let's see if we can do that without any lag. I'll play one round to see if there is any distortion whatsoever.
kill. And there we go. Free Fire works perfectly. I noticed that most apps work seamlessly apart from a few apps such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, wherein the video does not appear on the car's touchscreen even though audio works perfectly. Do not worry, I have found a solution to that as well. Subscribe to my channel now because pretty soon I will be uploading another video which will allow you to play any video on your car's touchscreen using any Android or Apple device. And the method that I will be showing you will be absolutely free. So stay connected to my channel and after you have subscribed, hit the bell icon as well to be notified upon my next video. Do like and share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, take care.